Well, it's me. And I'm working from home today, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm laughing about the working part. I am at home today, and I am working when I'm not in here making videos that I'm going to upload. Um, I thought of something to play, but I already, oh, I know what it is, I know what it is. Okay, we got a song. I don't know how many people of this listening audience are familiar with this song, so we will find out. Let me turn the volume up, make sure we can fully enjoy it. Here we go. Best song ever. I could go to the moon. Just wait it out up there and then come back when my face looks normal. Behind the clouds and stars. I even zoomed in my pipe to Mars. And that my friend will soon be ours. Well, I'm going to the moon. Yeah, 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 I'm going to the I'll be singing to you as I sing overhead. Singing Gale. Hey, singing Gale. Happy birthday. Singing Gale. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Gale. I love you, Mom. See you next year. Wow. That guy likes that song even more than I do. <laughs> That's a lot of like. I don't have a Zoom shirt, I don't have aluminum foil on my head, and I've never sang that song for my mom. But my mom did give me the Happy Birthday Amy Zoom song when I was little, and my sister had a Happy Birthday from Zoom song too. Now we've passed 3 minutes and 32 seconds. We're in July. In six days it'll be nine months oh no today's the third in five days it'll be nine months still there is no change when is this gonna end i don't know i don't know if there's enough songs on youtube to make it through all this oh so here we are it's not my birthday still good to have the zoom song maybe it's your birthday <laughs> I don't know when anybody's birthday is all I know is when my birthday is and I had a birthday hopefully next year's birthday is gonna look a little different than this year's birthday but I don't know <clears throat> time moves slow like this um yeah, so just my luck. Like, so I'm like off, well, not off work. Like, okay, so I have two bosses at work, and one of them told my coworker that we could work from home today. The three of us. There's three of us that work for this guy. My one coworker and I stayed home today 
because he says we wouldn't want to upset our boss would we i'm like no so we stayed home but our other boss i don't know if she cares or not and then but one of the three of us actually went to work today and um oh so anyway so i'm quote unquote working from home well after going out with my friend last sunday after church and we all went to this place that made um that had um frozen yogurt well i wanted some so today i thought i will get some so i drove there it's in birmingham as one of my coworkers would say and i went there and i got some and as I'm walking back to my car, I hear Amy. And I'm like, oh, no, that's my name. <laughs> and I thought, I did not just hear that. And I just keep walking. And I hear Amy. I'm like, how can this be? Like, I'm in this town. I don't know anybody in Birmingham. And I turn around. And sure enough, I do know someone in Birmingham because it's this guy. It's the vice president <laughs> of AT&T. And he's in this big, huge, expensive SUV driving down the street yelling my name out to me and I'm like yeah and if you could see I don't look the best okay <laughs> and so then I told him like I'm wearing these pants that just come down past my knee and just hang there and then these high tops that are purple and oh boy I'm not color coordinated and I don't look very good and everything and then um and I saw him and I'm like oh boy so I said well I'm working from home. Like, I give him this excuse. I'm working from home. But clearly, I'm not. He goes, oh, do you live around here? And I said, no. <laughs> so I say I'm working from home. But I'm in downtown Birmingham. And then I could have totally pulled it off saying I live near there. But I can't lie. So I said, no. Yeah. So I'm sure he probably thinks I'm a total slacker. But, oh, well, tomorrow's 4th of July. So maybe it's an okay day to slack. I don't know. I wasn't slacking. I mean, I was. But I wasn't. It was... I left the house at 11.30, and you should legitimately be allowed to eat lunch, even if it's you're working from home. And I was back by 12.30, so that's an hour. Anyway, so I didn't even finish what I bought. What I bought, oh my God, whenever you go to a frozen yogurt place, it's deceptive. Don't fill up the container that they give you, because they gave me this container, and it's, oh, we put everything you want in it. So I did. And then I went to pay for it, and it was eight dollars and some cents. <laughs> like holy crap! I could have bought in like two whole cartons of like half gallons of ice cream for that price, I think. So I bought it, but then I didn't eat it all. And now I just want a hot dog with some mustard to match my shirt. Hot dog and mustard. Yeah, because I'm on a diet. So that's why I'm eating frozen yogurt with M&M's in it and hot dogs because I'm on a diet. So the ex-convict told me um, that I need to go on a diet because he's never seen me or anything. But he he knew I gained weight and um, and he says I should go on a diet because I love riding my bike. And he said like he can't ride a bike anymore because he has all this back pain because he gained so much weight on the front of him. And so he says, you know, it gets to a point where you gain weight and then you can't even do the things you like to do anymore. So he told me, lose the weight now. You know, don't basically don't wait till it all gets so big that I get so big that I have back pain. Because he says, once you get in that arena, then it's really hard to lose the weight because you can't exercise because your back hurts. So, so I'm like, okay. So he said, stop eating bread, cereal, pasta, popcorn, and dairy. Well, I broke the dairy rule when I ate the frozen yogurt, but, and I, I didn't eat the whole thing anyway, and then I threw it out, and then now I'm going to eat um, a hot dog and mustard because he didn't say I couldn't eat that. Because what he found out the hard way, so he was um, homeless for a couple weeks recently, and and he was just, and it was hot out, and he was just walking and walking, and he just kept thinking, he kept messaging me, oh, I'm, I must be losing a lot of weight, at least I'm losing a lot of weight, like he couldn't find a place that would take him in or anything, because of his past, but, um, but he kept texting me and saying, oh, I must be losing all kinds of weight, 
because it was super hot and he was just walking and walking well turned out he gained weight and then all he was doing he was just eating ramen noodles because they were cheap and he can get them for 17 cents a package but he gained weight and then so we met this trucker that guy named gamble and gamble told him about carbohydrates he didn't know about them and then it turns out ramen noodles have tons of carbohydrates in them so he actually gained weight all those weeks of just being out in the hot sun walking and walking down expressways and everything you know trying to hitch rides and and trying to find places to stay and then just trying to do what he needed to do to stay alive like to go you know find food or water or whatever and wash his clothes against rocks in a stream and um well that was he just he gained weight from eating a bunch of ramen noodles because they were lightweight so we could carry them in his backpack and there were 17 cents a package and he thought by throwing away the seasoning mix he thought that's where the calories were but he didn't know about carbohydrates now he does so now he's told me no more carbohydrates or at least those things no more bread cereal chips pasta popcorn and no dairy and um so i'm gonna have a hot dog with some mustard on after i get done with this video because i figure that's okay because it's not bread I won't put bread on it. 